Remember the days when you had all those dreams? Remember the days when your biggest goal was to just to stay in the lines? Remember the days when your goal was to make it all the way down the hill on your big wheel? Those were our goals when we were kids and they were simple and they were, they were great, they were awesome. I remember those days. I believe a goal it's anything that you desire, that motivates you, that makes you burn inside. Something that you want really badly for yourself or for others, okay? And it's different for each individual. And at one time in my life, all my goals were so big. I mean, you couldn't count them. You, you, couldn't, you couldn't count any of them. When you're saying goals, you gotta, you gotta really think about what you want, what you need what you care about, who you care about. Goals, what are they good for? How do we use them? Goals are like your GPS system. They give you direction. They give you a place to focus on so your energy won't be scattered all over the place. I wanted to, you know, be in charge or own a candy store, a penny candy store, not so I can eat all the candy, but just, oh yeah, so I can eat all the candy. A goal can be pretty much anything. Big, small, short term, long term, health and fitness goals, marital goals, financial goals, but each goal is unique to one person and that person only. My goal will be different from anyone else in the whole wide world. So you set a goal and you keep your eye on that goal. Then you can look around at the things that you're doing and find out is the action that I'm taking on a day-to-day -day basis, does it line up with my goal or is it something that's taking me farther away from my goal? In order to achieve goals, I believe two things you got to have in play. Okay, you got to put the time in and you got to put the effort in. Time plus effort equal results. So number one, have a plan prepare for obstacles, and number two, expect the unexpected. These are two keys that can help you to achieve any goal that you set for your life. Uh, one of my kids asked me, they said, Dad, why is it important to set goals? I thought for a second, you know, I, I want to give him my best answer. I, I said, you know what, son? It's not so much... Uh, the importance of setting goals, everybody set goals. I already said that before. Everybody set goals. Everybody got their wishes and, and dream boards and all this stuff. The important thing when it comes to setting goals is that you put the steps in process to achieve that goal. When you look at your goal, you have a destination, a fixed destination. And to reach that goal, you take steps that will bring you closer and closer to that goal. Right now, my goal is to set goals. I have one hour goals, I got two day goals, five day goals, and everything I'm meeting a goal and it's just, I take it in a personal way now. I take it personally when I hit one. I hit me a little goal dance, I'm not gonna show you right now. You have to set your goals. Set big goals and you can accomplish them as easy as one, two, three. Okay, let me talk to you for a minute about why some people don't reach their goals. Number one is that they fail to plan to reach that goal. I was in a rut for a long, long time because I didn't have a goal. I believe many people don't achieve their goals because they get stuck on looking at the big goal, the big picture. And then they fail to do all the little things to make the big things happen. But once you set a goal, you have to have a step-by-step -step plan to reach that goal. Everybody raised ranks. Success does leave clues. The clue was that all I had to do was open my eyes, take that first step. You need to consider what obstacles you will overcome or what obstacles you will run into along the way when you're trying to reach your goal and prepare for that obstacle. Because the obstacle is going to be the thing that's going to stop you. The thing that you weren't prepared for. I didn't have the proper mindset. 
it, it, I wasn't always focused on what I was trying to do. I didn't have that clarity. Some people don't achieve their goals because they don't do things every single day. Every day there's things that have to be in place so you can achieve your goals. You gotta be disciplined, you gotta have dedication, you gotta be motivated, inspired, or whatever it takes that pushes you to keep moving forward. You have to do those things daily so you can achieve your goals. Sometimes it takes work. Sometimes it takes a lot of work. I have a five-step process that I use to achieve goals. Okay, you may want to write this down. I start with Google. I go on Google information about the goal that I'm trying to reach. Then I follow that up with YouTube. A lot of people have either done it or they're trying to do it and I go get information from them from YouTube. Then I go read about the goal, book, magazine article, something like that. Then I go talk to real life people and they will give me information and a feeling and that you cannot get from Google or YouTube or out of a book. Then if necessary, depending on what goal I've set, if necessary, I will go and further educate myself about that goal, take a class attend a seminar or something of the sort. After I've done all of that, I have the knowledge and the understanding needed to aggressively pursue that goal. Well, you know what pushes me, I told you some one time before, what pushes me a lot of times in my dreams and my goals is when people tell me I can't. And I just laugh and say, game on, let's do this. You know what motivates me to achieve goals? happiness. I've seen people successfully achieve goals, some small goals, some big goals, but when they accomplish something, the happiness that they have, the joy that they have, the way they walk, the way they talk, the smile on their face, that motivates me. So I achieve goals so I can have that same happiness and that same feeling that they feel. And it seemed like life became worth living again because I started to have goals in my life. Because I had something to shoot for in my life. I had something that I'm running towards. Because if you're not running towards nothing, you're not moving. If you're not running towards nothing, what's, what is it? What's By me setting goals and achieving them, it is amazing how much my life has changed. Okay. I feel better, I feel healthier, I'm more proud of myself. Uh, it's so hard now for people to bring me down. It's so hard for me to listen to the naysayers because I've got so many small things and big things accomplished that the naysayers, I'm like, what are you talking about? You can't tell me what I can't do because I've already done it. How do I feel after accomplishing a goal? Super fantastic. It lets you know that what you have on the inside can become a reality. You can't tell me I can't do it when I got a process and a plan that's going to make it happen. You put your plan together, you focus on what you want to do, you take your step-by-step -step actions, and then you finally reach and accomplish your goal. It's just a matter of time. I'm on my way. So you can sit back there with the naysayers, you can sit there uh, wishing and hoping for things while I'm, I'm taking step-by-step -step every day making things happen. It lets you know that there is nothing that you can't do. If you put your mind to it, you put a plan to it, and you put some action behind it. You have a glow around you that nobody can take from you because you are achieving your goals and getting the things in life that you desire, that you want, that you have passion for, that you dreamed about. Nobody can take that from you. You worked for it. You earned it. It's yours. Goals. Anybody can make them happen. Set your goals high and you can achieve anything that you can conceive. This is Raider Motivator. Peace.